There's the pad, and here come Walker and Smith. In the sport of luge, a tenth of a second can be the difference between this and this. For four years, that moment on the track in Sochi has haunted this Canadian luge relay team. That all changed today with a stunning announcement. The IOC declared that two of these Russian team members have been disqualified. In a statement, it said, they are found to have committed anti-doping rule violations and are disqualified from the events in which they participated. That means the fourth place team of Sam Edney, Alex Gao, Justin Smith, and Albert Tristan Walker should now be awarded bronze medals. And so they had seen the same thing I saw on their phones and all that type of thing, and uh, they were excited too. But same thing, cautiously, you know, happy and, you know, a high five, then back to work. If the Canadians are awarded a bronze, it would be Canada's first Olympic luge medal. And while it's a cause for celebration, some say that moment has already passed. There are so many implications to not winning a medal. And one for the athletes, they don't get to live that moment. Uh, I mean, assuming that everything goes the way uh, it's, it's moving forward, they, they will have their Olympic medals. But they never got their Olympic moment to be that medalist. That missed feeling is something Christine Girard knows well. They renamed the uh, weightlifting uh, room in my hometown with my name. The two-time Olympian was three kilograms away from winning a bronze medal in the 2008 Beijing Olympics for weightlifting. Last summer, she learned because of doping disqualifications, she would be moved to third place. When I came back in Canada with a fourth place, I was being seen as a failure and I was feeling like a failure. And then eight years later, that failure was becoming a success. But like for those four years, like how much support, how much, how much sponsor, how much help should I have had? And I didn't. I think this is gonna be a battle for the bronze. The Canadian luge team will have another shot at Olympic glory in February when they compete in Pyeongchang. And as for those possible bronze medals they've earned, Girard says they should be prepared to wait a little bit longer. She still hasn't received hers. Because <laughs> I've been waiting for a year and a half, so hopefully it will be quicker for them. Farah Morali, CBC News, Vancouver. You might be wondering, how do performance-enhancing drugs help you go downhill faster? So much depends on that first burst out of the gate. It can all be lost or won in that moment. It may seem like gravity does all the rest of the work, but it takes real strength to withstand the G-forces while taking tight turns at high speeds. And just as with sprinters, performance-enhancing drugs can amp that strength and speed just enough to shave fractions off times. And the podium is all about the time. When you account for all the dopers who've been caught out since Sochi, Canada's medal standings have a lot more luster. At the end of the games, Canada was in fourth place overall. Now, with Russian cheaters knocked out of the running, Canada climbs to third place overall, and this country is second only to Norway when it comes to winning gold, all of which is a good sign for Canada in Pyeongchang.